Proverbs 17.13 says, Whoever rewards evil with good, evil will not depart from his house. Proverbs 17.13 We know that when we reward evil for good, evil is sure to follow us and not leave us. Because why would we reward evil with good? Why would we uh, pat the backs of those who steal from others, who lie about others, who seek to use others as a means to their own uh, end gain and selfish end? Why would we give way to evil and support evil? And this is very important to understand no matter where we're at, whether it's in business, in politics, uh, if it's in our uh, unit between our family or friends, whatever it is, if we reward bad behavior, evil is not going to leave our house. God allows evil to continue to remain and occur to us. God is not the one doing this, but he allows it, as we know from Genesis 50, 20, uh, to hopefully work out, because uh, he always allows evil to work out for a greater good. But nonetheless, if we're rewarding evil with good, and we don't depart from that ever, evil is going to continue to happen to us along the way. And that's why when we come to know God, by believing that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and repenting of our sins, we become born again and we receive the Holy Spirit, who helps us to be able to uh, keep in step with the Spirit. He helps us to uh, not only do good, but to reward good with good, with proper and pure intentions. And so when we... Uh, Let's say we gain something. Let's say we we uh, we earn something by our misconduct, by doing something that is inappropriate and and wrong, and we we make all these uh, different gains and increases, and we do it with wrong intentions, wrong motives. We we do it wrongly by wrong means. Evil is going to follow us because we can't support that which is against God's nature. We can't support that which is against God. We need God in order to live for God. In order to live for God is to not only do good, uh, walk justly, uh, do justly, and walk humbly before our our Lord and uh, Savior uh, Jesus Christ, but it's also uh, keeping in step in in holiness. But even beyond that, it's keeping unstained and unspotted from this world, as James, uh, the book of James reveals. So we never want to reward someone if, if they got us something that we requested of them, but by wrong means, and we give them, uh, we, we, get, we do good to them, or, or we reward them for their evil behavior of giving us a finished product that was not done properly or purely, evil will follow us. And, and God will always give us the discernment to know whether this person is for us or against us, to make us aware whether this person's intentions are pure or selfish to make us aware whether what uh, is happening to us, uh, what is occurring around us, is either of God and for God, or it's sinful and evil. God's Holy Spirit will always make this aware to us. And that's why we must never reward evil with good. We, we never need to promote evil. We should never do that in the business realm, in our career realm, in the political sphere, in our own family unit, in our friends, in our teams. We never want to reward evil with good because if we do, evil is sure to follow us to the very end unless we repent and turn to him who can save us from our sins.